Welcome back, Heavenlies! This is Heaven's Army playing Sekiro Shadows Die Twice, episode 15! This, most likely, without a doubt, unless you Heavenlies pull off some crazy maneuvers, is going to be the last and final episode. Um, I mentioned that I was going to try to find a way to cheese that Demon of Hatred, considering I've already fought him and defeated him properly. Uh, but I didn't get around to it, because when I beat the game in the middle of the game, like how do I continue on? I'd have to like keep playing and stuff and didn't know where's near ready for <laughs> for doing that so I just like I was done. But uh I, I finally got to the point where I can do that now in the middle of last night since I got done at the time I got done my grinding was almost finished and ready to go on Kingdom Hearts Dream Drop Distance so that is still gonna happen tonight for those who are here live. Um but I won't be talking about that anymore since this is a Sekiro episode. I don't want to be merging games together here. Um, I, I have to start in the load screen because the fight's going to happen right away. I kind of have to go and rest and then get my platinum, which will take about two seconds to get a platinum. Um, I hope. <laughs> if I've done it wrong, then whoops. It's fine. Uh, yeah, so he's over there getting all angsty and stuff. And if I can reset the world, go to acquire skills, hit that button buy this. There you go. Height of technique done. And then Sekiro. Cool. We, we did it. Platinum, everybody. That was a very long grind. Um, I'm in New Game Plus, which means I am getting a little bit more experience uh, instead of the first game. The first, first playthrough, you don't get a whole lot of experience. Uh, can I hang down? See, I can't hang down here. Catch. Am I doing well? I'm assuming I'm getting him over here. Because, uh, here's my plan if you don't jump at me. Okay. My plan is, because I'm assuming that I have to kill this boss without getting it into its first and second forms, um, I have to kill him via over here, but I don't know how. Palace fire, no! <laughs> I got my platinum, by, by the way. You just missed him. Welcome back. Ah! Oh! Oh, okay, hello! <laughs> I, did, I didn't know he was after me. Oh, he's after me. Oh, okay. Well, there I go. So staying... Staying there is a bad move. Oh, I took my eyes off the game to welcome Malice and that... That got me. Oh, okay. Well, that's not how you do it, but we're gonna figure it out. We, I'm giving myself like a half an hour of fooling around with this game to, to see if I can uh, if I can uh, kill this this demon of hatred by cheesing him. That's right. We're gonna che we're gonna figure it out. Oh, there's a building here. Whoa! Is he already after me? Okay, okay, run away. Uh, attack that. I forget how to play this game. Okay, no, I got it. I figured it out. Uh, jump. Jump, jump. You stay over there. Uh, okay, so I can't jump here. There is a building. Can I jump off the wall? Oh, it needs to be like the white walls. You can't jump off the wall and jump off the wall. Uh, there's got to be a way to do this. I'll figure this out. How come he hasn't attacked me yet? See, did I actually get him stuck already? Can you, like, fall off the cliff now? That would be superb if you did that. He's walking towards me. See, now, now is where you get a little worried. No, I, I think he's <laughs> actually stuck. Just fall off, please. Save me the the embarrassment. Show me how it's done. Uh. So what's uh, good? Why Sekiro? Because I just got the platinum. 
And I'm trying to... I said I was going to try to fight this boss by cheesing it, because somebody told me you can easily cheese this boss. And I'm like, really? Because I want to know how. Um, so if I don't figure this out soon, hopefully somebody shows up and says, yeah, so this is how you cheese the boss. I mean, I already got him stuck, but there's no point to go back over there. Because if I go back over there, he's going to attack me. And uh, if I go and, and start attacking him, it's the same way you cheese that big guy on the horse. I had no idea you could do that. I'm supposed to get him stuck over there. But now I have to go upward? What do you mean go up? As in like like where I'm thinking? Because I can I can if I can grab this, I uh, I'd be able to uh, to go, but this wall is ridiculously high. And there's no like hook shots? And, uh, I think when I was fighting the horse guy, he kind of broke all of these. Um... I keep hitting my head on the first part of it. Okay... Whoa, whoa, what?! Wait, wait, what?! I jumped and jumped! I jumped and I jumped, but if I stand here, I jump and I jump and I fly up? Like Superman? Is that a glitch? Uh, climb. Not that climb, ooh. Uh, well I got the, I got the Demon of Hatred like totally stuck, I, I like that. Okay, you gotta like jump on a weird angle here. Yeah, weird. Okay, you need to get to the roof from the tower. So you already know how to cheese this. Why do you know how to do that? I couldn't grab. Weird. I need to get up on this roof by the looks of what Mal is telling me. How do you know how to cheese this? Tell me how you know how. Got it. All right, nailed it. That was hard. Well, because after I beat the horse guy, a guy told me how to cheese the ending. Told me how to cheese the horse too. Oh, so am I doing this right so far? Because this jump is impossible. There's no way to jump that far unless there's like a hook shot. Because I am way. Oh, don't get him. Don't stay on the tree. Okay, he's. I think he's actually stuck. Oh, if he comes out, I'm dead. I am like a dead man. I'll just jump off the cliff and just do it myself. Uh, there, there's no climbing spots. Like, this is an impossibly far jump to, uh, to do. I'm going to go from the highest point and uh, try to jump over there, but there's, there's just no way. <laughs> I was really far away. So, yeah, what the... You jumped too early. It, no, it, it is not impossible. Oops, I kind of missed. That's a weird jump. Oh, jump, jump, and then grab. Oh, okay, that worked. He sent me a link to Power Z-Man. Where is an Hour Z-Man? It can be done. <laughs> This jump is possible? What is that word? <laughs> that is not a word either, man. Let's try again. I don't know how to spell horse, man. <laughs> it still spelled horse wrong. <laughs> Forget it. <laughs> oh, Malice, what are you doing to yourself? Okay, so running and jumping and... No, that is so far. I, I quiet. Quit. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> exactly. Exactly what I'm seeing. Oh, didn't make the jump that time. Weird. That's jump, jump, grab. Jump, jump, grab does work, everybody. It does. This is jump, jump, grab. Uh. Woo! No? Alright. I'm just trying to jump all random places, because... Jump, jump, grab. 
<laughs> this is so far away. There's no way to make this jump. Like, like the closest point. Oh, actually, this is closer. But I'm further down. You have to start running in the right spots, but you have to jump just as you're hitting the very edge as well. Well, I'll try the uh, this spot. Wow, like that seems really, really, really far away. Well, I'm glad he's really stuck there, because if he wasn't, then... I didn't jump. Okay, well, that was nice. If you run, you fall. Okay, I got this down. That's that's down to a science. Whoa! <laughs> I don't know what I just did, but I'm not doing that again. Climb! How far can I go? Can I go out on this grass? Figured it out. You're welcome. You're welcome. I. That was a weird jump. Like the video that I've seen the guy do it five or six times. Well, there's my lapis lazuli that I don't need. Uh, am I still stuck on this side or does that door open up? I'm still stuck on the other side. Uh, how do I get back? <laughs> Jump? Uh-oh. I, uh, I might be forever- no, I can't be forever stuck. You can't get forever stuck in this game, can you? Whoop. Okay, I can hop up here. There's nothing over here, right? Like, the game is... There's like... Did I like, go to a spot where the world where you should not be able to go? Uh, you were supposed to stay on the roof and get him to fall off. You broke Sekiro. Did I break Sekiro? Cause I'm okay with that. I'm okay with breaking the game. Now that the game is done, the game is platinum. Jump, jump, grab. Oh, ah, E! Okay, that's not fire. Jump, jump. That's not a grabbable wall? No, it's not. Okay. Because I totally hit the wall that time. Uh, okay. Well. There's a will, there's a way. Let's break this game. I mean, I, I actually... I, I cheese the boss really, really... There's an item up here! Oh! Oh! Whoa! 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 <laughs> A light coin purse, but the world breaks. Oh, this is good. Oh, is, is this fire? Does it hurt? No, it's not fire because it's not there. It's magic. Oh, why do I break games so? I can't help it. It's just things that I do in video games is break them. But there's like an item out here too. Let's do this. Well, there's no enemies here because I wasn't supposed to get over here. That's funny. Okay, I, I think I can get back. That's my hook shot to get back over. But I'm not hook shotting back to the dr demon. Forget that noise. We're gonna press on and break this whole game. Alright, what else could possibly break? You probably have to die to reset it. Alice, did you forget that you can teleport anytime, anywhere? Please tell me you didn't forget that. Very. That's, that roof is broken too. Cool. Uh oh, am I stuck? Uh oh, uh oh. Da, 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 da. There, oh, there we go. I got out of it. Whew. Take that game. You're not going to get me stuck. Yes, you did forget. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, apologies. Uh, but you can just warp back anytime, so... <laughs> you probably have to die. What do you think? This is Sacred of Shadow Dice twice? You never die in this game. I, li I just literally fought the Demon of Hatred and didn't even die. I mean, yes, I did die. Technically, I felt you kind of knocked me off the edge there. But that didn't count because I didn't know what I was doing. There's secret items over here. 
missable rare items that you would have never been able to get because you would have never glitched a game like this. But how do I keep going back? Because, like, I'm here, right? And, uh... Uh... Wow, it's really empty when there's no enemies around. You gotta climb the castle. Why would so many... Are you a snake or something? See if you can go to Kuro. See if I can go to Kuro? Oh, this is my way back. It's really easy to get back without having to do anything. Um, but uh, I think they blocked off the world, Malice, uh, the second time, the first time the world changes. Um, they, they just put up an invisible wall and... Not an invisible wall. They put up a wall that you can't run through. Uh, um, so I already know that it's it's blocked off. Um, right here, this you're supposed to walk through the door and fight the bull. And the moment you fight the bull, this and the other side gets blocked off. Um, the only thing I can think of is see if there's anything over here. And there's not. Like, this is like a one-way wall that you have to walk through. Through the bull area, it gets blocked off the moment you beat the bull. And especially when you go through the game and everything else gets blocked off too. The bridge on the other side gets broken. Um, so I think they like they kind of stop you from 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 going anywhere. So now I can grab onto this maybe. No, that's not a that's not even an edge. Okay, but I will try to get some results. Well, this is fun. I cheese the you thought that de demon of hatred was hurt. Oh, I beat him so badly he died quickly. Uh, there's a weird tree here. Can I like jump underneath of it and? Oh, is that whole wall with the spikes onto it? Because if it is, then I can't grab onto it. It does. So anything with a spike onto it, you can't grab, and that's all spikes. And the only time it stops being spikes is way over there. And no matter how glitchy some of the jumps are, like the one on that tower and the one to get over here, um, that you helped me out a lot, Nellis. I don't think I would have tried to jump from the tower. I was trying to look for a hookshot or something. You think there's a glitch to get in? Well, like if you could do the go through wall um, glitch, that's that will help you get over there in a hurry. I'll try to see what I can do. This is uh, how speedrunners do it. Indeed it is. Wow, okay, I kind of dropped down before I even, I even made it. So, I mean, I got everything that I wanted to get done. I didn't think I'd beat the Demon of Hatred so quickly. I, I jumped early, but he still ran down and then jumped up. Weird. I'm trying to get him to, to jump at this point. Yeah, it's like a secret wall or hidden wall there. I, I seem to be bouncing off of something. Ooh, I'm glad I grabbed on. That was a lucky grab. Anyway, I don't think there's a way to get over there, sadly, because jumping... Sacro doesn't jump that far, and there's no hook shots or anything, but, like... Yeah, they just got that tree, and, and no grabby spots on the roofs. I did dismiss my alarm. What that? What? What's going on? Fine, I'll also dismiss the other ones. Um... I have alarms going off all the time to make sure I never, ever miss a live stream. Um, so, uh, <laughs> not that I need them to go off, I just put them on just in case. Oh, 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 oh. oh cool, you can see through the entire world. Uh, <laughs> uh, so yeah, I'm not supposed to be over here. Uh, clearly you're not supposed to be over here, but uh, I do like seeing how games are still just small, thin, 2D images. And games haven't even gotten into 3D yet. Um, um, to the point what I mean like rocks and ground and buildings and stuff. It's just all things flat and layered upon other layers. Um, and then they put a camera in now, and now you can spin a camera into a world that feels and looks 3D, but it's still just a uh, images upon images. 
yeah, oh, that bridge is over there. That I, I can't get over there. That's the thing. Like, there's no possible way to get over there. Um, that'd be really cool if somebody could, like, take some extra hours and figure out a way to, like, get past this wall when it's blocked off the first time. But even if you got over this wall and somehow over the other wall, well, the moment you do that, then you made it. But I don't know how you get over two walls. And the other area is just inside a inside a square area where, where you fought the bull. And I don't think there's any jumpable climbable spots. Unless they put back up the, uh, the, uh, the, the, the banner thing. The banner, whatever, I don't even know what they're called. Just the tower, wooden tower things. It was three or four that the bull breaks. But, uh, yeah, can I get inside there? Because from, from the roof I could, like, look through the world. <laughs> but can I, is there, like, an inside this building? Because I don't think there is. Uh, uh, I see. I'm playing this on the PS4 too, in case if you're wondering how how I've done it. I'm pretty sure PC has the exact same thing. I wouldn't see why not, right? Yeah, there's no way in the, this building. I keep trying to attack with a, a whole different bunch of buttons. Um, but yeah, cool, we've already figured out the Demon of Hatred and everything, and I'm just like fooling around on this glitchy roof. <laughs> And the other spot's kind of glitched up too, but I don't see no way through and around it. But, uh, but yeah, um, there you go, Sekiro on a, floating on an invisible spot. Can I pull off some powerful moves? Oh, there you go. It's alright. I can't, like, zoom with the camera or anything, because I would, or, or go into Spider-Man ca camera photo mode. But, uh, <laughs> well, there you go, this was way quicker than I thought. I, I was gonna like invest a half an hour in and then ask people but Malice showed up so quickly that uh, he, and he even knew how to do it. So that just sped up all of my time. Uh, either way, um, that's Sekiro. Uh, so I'm not, I don't need to say what I'm going to do. Everybody who's during the live stream should know what I'm about to do. Because um, we're, we're going live again tonight but I hope everybody enjoyed my take on Sekiro. I literally tried to fight everything face to face. I, I didn't try to, like, you know, find ways to cheese things. Although it's kind of fun to do that, uh, I would rather do it at this point like I just did. I've already defeated the Demon of Hatred face to face, so now I can cheese him. I just wouldn't want to cheese him and then try to figure him out later, because he would be actually stronger this time around because the game gets harder each new game plus you get more experience oh so speaking of that you know what let's go for a little journey shall we um that's communal it is because uh let's see here new game plus would be a little easier to try to get your skills done and then new game plus plus would be even better because you get more and more skill experience each new game plus. I've also was told that I could have dropped off Kuro's charm thingy. Uh, it makes the game harder, but you, I think you also get more experience. I'm not too sure if that's true. I didn't have to do it. Um, and I wanted to fight where it was easy to fight something. Something that I couldn't mess up even if I wasn't looking at the screen. So if you're like me, and this grind is pretty long and terrible, it is a lot of, a lot of grinding. It's firmly shut. Okay. Um, so there's no way to get this uh, sculptor's idol at the end of the game unless you beat the demon. Where I've done was here and yeah, the antechamber. You got to do a little prep work on the first time you're in here, but then once you're done the prep work, then you're good. But uh, here it goes, because I'm gonna I'm gonna let this. I'm gonna show you how it's unless my prep work's already done. I've already did it and then I saved and I moved on, but if I warp to another world, hopefully the world resets. At this point, you should have at least had stealth and stealth. So you should be able to walk around and no one should be able to hear you. If you have to sneak, sneak. It's okay. Kill this guy. Yeah, that guy. So now, you don't want these things to be here. So you want to break all of this. All of this can go away. This guy drops pretty awesome experience. And I want you to break this and this. And that one. If you want to break this, it doesn't matter. The guy cannot see you. Um, so I just want you to not go through this door. I want you to go around. So reset the world. 
And this is what I've done, because it's so easy. I don't have to look at the screen and you just walk up. You can run, it goes even quicker if you run, but you just lock on and kill. Over and over, and he keeps giving me 2000 experience because I'm in New Game Plus. And you do this for hours, because it's going to take you hours, you'll have your enough skills brought in. I need it like 30 plus. And I'm, like I said, I'm standing behind him and walking around, I'm not even sneaking. The guy doesn't see you. You, have, you can do it nice and quick too, if you're one of those people who's in a rush. Uh, you can run up, stop, lock on, kill. And then turn camera, grab and run, and do it, and then run. And then that's as quick as it gets. Um, and then just keep running up. But like I said, I wasn't in a rush. I was watching, editing, I walked around, killed the guy, and then just walked back down and grab stuff while I was going down. And it's just an easy 2000 without having to look at the screen. And that's it, that's what I've done over and over and over until I finally got my skills done. It, it, it was a lot of points. Was it, was it six, nine, and 15? Plus like four, five, and sixes for these. And I had to unlock this, this, and this. These were all three. And I had to unlock like uh, a move here and there and there as well. Like it was a lot of points. It was a lot of skill points, but it is doable. And if you love this game, then you can go to New Game Plus however many you want. I am not a fan of doing games over and over again. Like I've never been, I, I, not too many games I've played more than two or three times. Um, is, that's very rare. Um, and that's like Final Fantasy XV and Bloodborne. Like those were the only two I've done. Mostly because I was a live streamer too. If I wasn't a live streamer, I probably would have sat down and played Bloodborne nice and slow. I probably would have probably would have gotten the game done in one shot. I didn't even reset the world. <laughs> so yeah, and then like I, I just would have did that. Final Fantasy XV, I... did I play that game as a live streamer? I think I did. I think I played Final Fantasy XV as a live streamer. If I would have done it not as a live streamer, then I probably would have gotten things. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's way different when you're playing as a live streamer. You want to move on, you want to make progress, you want to entertain, and you may want to skip a quest or do a quest that's completely out of your way and absolutely isn't helping your, your game or, or your or your trophies if you're into that. But you just want to unlock a thing that just, just show somebody something. Um, it's a whole different mindset, at least for me it is. I, I definitely can't live stream the way I play. Because it literally is slow. <laughs> it literally is me clicking on every wall and and, and, and everything. It, but by the time I was done Sekiro, it'll be triple, quadruple the time. All those people are going to start fighting, aren't they? Uh, I don't think it's worth it to stand here and wait for them to be done fighting. Because the moment one team wins, they're going to rush you. Uh, it's no point to wait for them. It doesn't, doesn't work that way. I know there's a few other good spots that I practiced on while I was in new game, the, the first game, um, was the Hidden Forest was one, but see, you have to focus. If, if you're like, if you're enjoying the game, you're going to be playing it, then this one might be better. I don't know. I didn't even do this one because I had no desire to look at this game <laughs> after I beat it. So I just let it. I just ran, walked up the stairs, killed the guy, walked back down, clicked onto it, and eventually I came back to the, the dude. It might have even been five minutes later. But isn't there things here? How much do they give? One thousand. He's dead, by the way. Yeah. That's 2,480. Uh, that was a lot of work. That was a lot of time being wasted. I don't think that is quick enough now. And that was me. Uh, I didn't have to block the first attack. When he jumped up, I could have hit him. I could have did it a little bit quicker. But that was one spot that was nice and easy to get some good experience, but it doesn't seem that good anymore. Where was the other spot I kept? Oh, I remember now. Uh, Gunfort. That's where I did first. That's the first place you get to. Or at least for me, it was the first place I got to. 
um, and killing the guys nice and easy, but you gotta run back and forth and I don't know, I kinda like, if you take your eyes off the screen, you're really gonna mess up a lot, but I ran up and got seen before, I, I've, I've messed up like, the, the kill. That's an easy, yeah, that's that's why, no wonder it took so long, I, that's not even a thousand, and there's too much walking. And you can mess up a lot, the guy can like, see you and then run down, it's, this area is not even close. This was where I did on game, on the first playthrough, not new game plus. When I got here I didn't have Ashina, because this is the end game by the way, that dude's not there until the end of the game. So you got to go New Game Plus and finish off a lot of things. Finish off the dragon, I think. you got to get to that point. And then fight them there. Because I think they keep swapping around people. But uh, yeah, so my area seems to be pretty good. I know there's probably better areas, but I don't want to look at the screen. I got editing. I was watching an anime once. <laughs> I watched anime, yay! Uh, and I just wanted to get the grinding done. Because it's a long, hard grind. A brutally long, hard grind. Um, but yeah, I'm still thinking my spot here was, was quite easy. Antichamber it is. It's, it's super easy to walk up, kill the guy, break a few things so that he, he, you don't step onto it and, and let him hear you, and just walk at him. There's no point to walk behind him because he turns around and looks to the right anyway, so just literally cut in after him. It's not that bad. But uh, yeah, I mean, if if, if you... Uh, aggro the guy I mean you can kind of fight him quickly at this point you just attack him until he starts kicking then when he does his thrust kick just Makiri counter it and then attack him again until he starts kicking and then just kill him that way it's really quick and easy to kill these uh, pretty much anything at this point but <laughs> that was a lot of a lot of things being broken So, I mean, I don't know if you need me to prove this or not, but even if this does break by accident, the guy will not see you. And plus I can run up the stairs and he still won't hear me, even though he's looking right at you. Just walking around the pillar. I didn't, even, I didn't even lock on him, but this is what I did. So Malice, you might want to get to this point too. It's 2100 and deciding and killing again. So however you want to do it, leave the wall up if you don't want to accidentally run the wrong way or break the wall, he can't see you. Uh, it, it's the quickest thing I've done to get myself finished. Other than that, there you go. Sekiro episode 15, the shortest episode I've ever done in my life probably. <laughs> Other than games that are that short. Or be like, I beat the game and nobody told me while I was playing that like, yeah, you're at the end of the game. You might as well finish it, you got like a half an hour left. Uh, because that happened before. <laughs> Absolutely. And then I played the game, I run through the rest of the castle, or whatever I, wherever I was at, I fought a boss, and that was the end of the game. And I'm like, I'm, I'm done? Because it didn't look like it was the end of the game to me. But yeah, there are a few games do that. They don't, like, have a build-up to let you know that you're at the end of the game. At all. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I, I hope all of, all of my playthrough, if you're ever having trouble with anything, with timing, with visuals, with everything, because I said everything that I can possibly say to get everybody able to beat Sekiro, if you can't beat it, um, and how to beat them toe-to-toe, -to -toe, not how to cheese them. Um, this was a proper, full playthrough. I know there's a lot of how to cheese videos out there, uh, this <laughs> is since I did look that up and went, wow, how to cheese every boss, I'm like, I'm not even going to look at that. Um, but they're there, and apparently people seem to want to watch that for some reason. I don't know, I don't get it. Unless you've, unless these people have already played it and beat it, and then they're just like me, want to see how to cheese it after you've beaten the entire game and got the platinum. Sure, I'm okay with that. But if you're cheesing on your first playthrough, uh, I don't know. That's, you're not, you're not experiencing the funness of the game. But yeah, um, I hope another game like this comes out soon. Uh, hopefully they get the combat a little bit more tweaked, and I hope, hope somebody dev, some dev is watching, um, that nobody, or at least I really don't think, people want to play your game four times, especially if it's the same things and bosses and cutscenes. Um, two times was too much for me. 
if I would have known better, I would have saved my game before fighting my father. And made got the got the Ashura ending right away. Beat the game and and then and then load back up before my father, fight him again and say no. And move on and get the other three endings and be done in one playthrough. Uh uh, unless uh, unless other people can who, who plays this game tells me differently that they don't mind playing this game four plus times, see the endings all the way through. Because I know somebody has new game plus ninety nine out there right now, and I, I I don't know what you're doing, but good good on you. Uh, so yeah, just that people do exist like that, but me, uh, -uh. I, I've I've already seen everything. I've fought every boss on my first playthrough. Um. Unless you're gonna add new bosses in the new game plus or something like, I hope you don't do this that this route again where you have to play the game four times, legitly and without doing any save and load up stuff. That's all I could ask for. If you ever get time, which I know you don't, go watch Sacred Run with 99 damage upgrade. Yeah, I don't want to see that. Uh, my damage is what it is, and I'm already strong enough. I do not need 99 damage. Whoops, I didn't mean the rest. I just want to look at my stats. I have 24 attack power, and I am super powerful. And I could get even way more attack power if I want to. I just didn't want to fight all the bosses. I just want to move on to the to the Demon of Rage and, and get my get the platinum and, go, and move on. Um, but yeah, that's all I wanted to do. And 24 attack power is way too much in this game. <laughs> so yeah, there you go. Sekiro is done. I'll go kill this guy again because it's kind of fun. You can lock on before you get up the stairs. That's even smarter. That's even smarter. Yeah, you should lock on the guy before you walk up the stairs <laughs> instead of trying to lock on when you're running around the corner. Because that was pretty bad the, the, the second last time I did this. <laughs> e either way, um, cool. Look at the money I have. I don't know what to spend it on. Um, it's like, yeah, the platinum's done. Everything's there. Uh, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you enjoyed this little special bonus episode thingy that I that I gave you. Uh, I said I was going to try to cheese that demon of rage. Thanks, Malice, for giving me the tips, because I don't know if I would have gotten to that conclusion. To hop on the tower. And then to somehow jump from that tower to the wall. That, that's, that seemed like an impossible jump. And yet the game kind of just like... Whatever I did, I just floated over there. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, and I made a bunch of jumps, but like nothing seemed to work. But I, I was able to, to figure it out with a couple clues. But yeah, I don't know how people found that out themselves. Uh, good on them. I, I, I mean, I break games and stuff, but I don't go out of my way to break them. <laughs> I try not to because I want to. I want the. I want to keep playing for four hours. I don't want a game to break because I'm looking for it, and I do break it. And there's the haha -ha moment, but now I gotta like reset the game and uh, and everything. No, no thank you. <laughs> I was totally shocked seeing it myself. I was gonna try it on round two. Like what? I, you you're trying to copy me, are you? I, I see. I never got to that point. Yeah, I, I know you're just trying to copy me. All right, I, I see. I, I see how it is. <laughs> uh. You can only jump off the wall once, huh? Interesting. But if it's a white wall, you can jump off of it infinity times. Here. Well, I knew about it before you. I not I it not a copy. What do you mean it not a copy? I'm calling you. Unless you're calling yourself an it, and that's not very nice of you to call yourself that. But uh, either way, uh, I shall end this, edit this, and send this away, and I'll be back by the looks of it. I should be back before my time. I'm f far from human. I don't believe you. Once you start, uh, once you get up to my my days uh, live streams in a row, then tell me. Then I'll believe you. Once you get 1,750 plus consecutive days streamed, then I'll start believing. But until then, you're human. So yeah. Either way, my bad for the long like nothingness at the end of this episode. <laughs> you, you you saw the demon and you saw me walking on a roof that wasn't there, no, I could see through the entire world. And then I walked through the other building where 
wolf kept disappearing and coming back. <laughs> so it was two blitzy buildings over there, but uh, but yeah, um, that's all I got for you. That's all I wanted to do. I, I said I was going to try to figure out how to cheese that demon, and I did. And I you even saw the platinum after I bought the thingy. But and I showed you this is where I grinded. This is this is the area. I didn't want to focus anywhere else. I didn't want to play the game anymore. I just want to walk up the stairs, lock on the thing, hit R, and after I heard some noise, walk back down and rest, and repeat that while not looking at the screen. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, I'll be back as soon as I can with the official stream. Not that this one wasn't, but this one was just, I, I assumed it was going to be quick, like a half an hour, and hopefully somebody would have shown up. Now you're the only one that showed up for Sekiro. Sekiro already dead? Or is it just so early that no one's awake yet? Or everyone's still in school? No, they can't be. School's over at this point. Um, where is everybody at? <laughs> uh, either way, it's fine. Just uh, the, If I would have been counting on somebody showing up to help me, it might not have happened. That would have been scary to think of. Um, either way, there you go. Thanks, Evan Lees, for showing up and watching. And seriously, if you like what I'm doing, please hit those buttons. You know what to do by now. And I will see you all in the next episode. Take care.